And Mombasa Principal Magistrate Edgar Kagoni has been arrested for a loss of a heroin exhibit worth 30 million shillings. Directorate of Criminal Investigations officers arrested Kagoni and three others, including a court assistant, an officer in charge of exhibits, and a support staff at the Mombasa Magistrate's Court. The four face obstruction of justice charges and theft. The arrest of the four follows an order by the Directorate of Public Prosecutions to place the court officers in police custody. The DPP finding sufficient grounds to charge the Mombasa Principal Magistrate for obstruction of justice and aiding the commission of the offence where over 10 kilograms of heroin exhibit worth 30 million shillings disappeared from the court's exhibit store. The magistrate was handling a narcotics case where he sentenced Hussein Masood Eid to 30 years in jail for drug trafficking but refused to allow the investigating officer have the narcotics in his possession. This after the officer made an oral application to be in custody of the drugs exhibits. Instead, the magistrate ruled to have the exhibits stored in the court's store. Also in question is a missing 600,000 shillings in foreign currency that was found on the suspect. Ironically, even after finding the suspect guilty, Magistrate Kagoni ordered that the money be returned to the suspect. The other officers arrested along the magistrate include court assistant Onesmas Momani, officer in charge of the exhibit store Abdallah Bubakar and Lawrence Bayan, who is a support staff at the Mombasa Law Courts. The three charged for stealing of the narcotics and the 600,000 shillings. The loss of the exhibits, according to the Director of Public Prosecution's Office, was noticed on diverse dates between June 28, 2019 and the 26th of July of 2019. The suspects are being held at the Mombasa Port Police Station and will be arraigned on Monday to face charges of obstruction with the intent to defeat justice and aiding and abetting trafficking in narcotic drugs. Samogina Citizen TV, Nairobi.